Hello, I'm Jerome. I'm a third and final year PhD student at Institut Polytechnique de Paris. Before that, I studied physics and engineering in both France and the UK. For me, econophysics is in fact one of the many interesting branches of complex system science. First and foremost, I would say that what drew me in is the very idea that we can actually use a common approach to describe a large number of atoms, neurons, or even starlings, despite their radically different nature. Having said that, socioeconomic models turn out to be particularly exciting, as scientific results may eventually lead to policy changes somewhere down the line. A large part of my PhD has been dedicated to the study of what we call radical complexity. In many classical models, the agents are assumed to make their decision based on the maximization of their own satisfaction. For instance, if I'm given the choice between a beautiful, lightweight bicycle or an old rusty one for the same price, it's quite obvious that I will pick the former. In many cases, however, the consequences of our choices might be much more intricate, and assessing what the best decision is could be extremely difficult, if not impossible. To picture this phenomenon, we can imagine a marble traveling down in some landscape. If the landscape is a simple parabola, it is clear that the marble will roll down and naturally settle in the bottom of the well. This is the simple picture. In the radically complex situation, however, there are many different valleys, bumps, and cavities. The marble will then likely get stuck in one of the cavities even though it might not be the lowest point in the system, unless we give it another kick, in which case it might end up somewhere completely different. Of course, an economy is vastly more complicated than a marble. Thankfully, we may rely on some of the results of so-called spin glass physics, for which Parisi was awarded the Nobel Prize in 2021, to understand this radical complexity and its consequences on socioeconomic systems.